Now I'm going to show you a setup shot, a three ball shot with which we will be able to pocket three balls in one shot. Setup shots are kind of easy because once you set the balls right, they will all go automatically. In this particular shot, I want to place the one ball right here, frozen to the rail, and by the first diamond. The two ball goes next to it, still frozen, and the one and the two, their line of centers, aim aimed at the second diamond on the opposite rail. The three and the two still frozen to each other with the three ball aiming not directly into the pocket here but slightly to its left because there will be some throw as I already explained to you so due to the friction that there will be between the two and the three the three ball will be thrown slightly to its right so to make it sink we'll have to point the two and the three towards the left point of the pocket right there then a requirement for this shot is to shoot with the cue ball behind the, the middle line here and um, to pocket the three balls with better care just about pocketing the one ball because everything else as I already told you will come out automatically. We all know that to pocket a ball that is frozen to the rail we need to hit the ball and the rail at the same time so exactly here and to make it easier it's better to give the cue ball some good English in this case it's nine o'clock so once the cue ball will hit the one the one will sink in this pocket the cue ball will bounce off the rail and the two ball will be squeezed between the three ball and the cue ball so it'll escape along the tangent line the tangent line is the line that is perpendicular to the line of centers. So this is the line of centers, this is the tangent line, and the tangent line aims in the pocket. So it'll happen automatic to the two, for the two ball to get in this pocket and the three ball get in that pocket. I'll show you how. always chalk up your cue before you shoot and here we go nine o'clock on the cue ball